So today we will discuss about the volumetric efficiency of an internal combustion engine. The volumetric efficiency of an internal combustion engine is a very important factor affecting the performance of the internal combustion engine. Volumetric efficiency is defined as the ratio between the actual volume of the working substance drawn into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke to the theoretical piston displacement. But more appropriate definition of volumetric efficiency would be in terms of its mass density. In terms of mass density, volumetric efficiency may be defined as the actual mass density of the working substance drawn into the engine cylinder to the mass density of the working substance under ideal condition. And in all naturally aspired engines, the volumetric efficiency is less than 100 percent. So, now we will discuss why this volumetric efficiency is less than 100 percent and what are the factors or variables which are affecting the volumetric efficiency. So, there are four important factors affecting the volumetric efficiency. First one is density of fresh charge. So, whenever the working substance enters the engine cylinder, it mixes up with the bond air fuel mixture present in the clearance volume. It also comes in contact with the hot cylinder walls and due to this its density falls because we know whatever may be the state of the substance, it may be in solid state, it may be in liquid state, it may be in gaseous state. Whenever it is subjected to heat or subjected to high temperature, definitely it undergoes expansion. So, its density falls. So, that is one of the major contributing factor affecting the volumetric efficiency. The second factor that we are going to consider is the exhaust gas in the clearance volume. So, we know that the piston can reach a position which is known as your TDC. So, whatever may be the measures you take, the TDC can never be in the cylinder head because to operate the valves both the inlet as well as the exhaust valves, you need to keep some clearance space. So, after the exhaust stroke, some amount of burnt air fuel mixture at high temperature and pressure will be trapped in the clearance volume. So, this high pressure burnt air fuel mixture will fast expand and you know that the charge of the air fuel mixture of the working substance can only be drawn into the system whenever the pressure is less because there is a natural tendency of the gas to flow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. So, when you are having the bond air fuel gases present in the clearance volume, first it will expand and only when the pressure drops below the atmospheric pressure, you will have admission of the charge into the system. So, due to this, the amount of working substance drawn will be less than what would have happened in ideal condition. Third one is design of intake and exhaust manifolds. Design of intake and exhaust manifolds are very very important as far as the volumetric efficiency is concerned. Improper design would lead to lower volumetric efficiency. The fourth factor is timing of inlet and exhaust valves. Both the inlet as well as the exhaust valves, they do take some finite amount of time in opening. So, for that the amount of working substance that is drawn may be less. So, for that reason to overcome that difficulty, we do give some lead time. So, that by the time the piston reaches the top dead center position, the inlet valve is in complete open position. So, for that we need to open the valve few degrees before the top dead center position when it comes to the inlet or suction stroke. These are the factors for which the volumetric efficiency is less than 100 percent in case of naturally aspired engines. That problem can be overcome by providing 
the supercharges where we can achieve volumetric efficiency of more than 100 percent. 